Sam here from Keep On Coding. Have you thought about purchasing LeetCode Premium? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the features that you get with LeetCode Premium, as well as whether or not it's worth it to purchase it. Now, I do wanna say that I'm not sponsored by LeetCode. Everything in this video is my own personal opinion. So here's an overview of the video. First, we're gonna be going over what LeetCode actually is. I'm sure a lot of you already know what it is, but I'll do an overview just you know, for those of you who don't. And who knows, maybe you guys will learn some features that you didn't know about before. Then we're gonna be talking about what you actually get when you purchase premium, all the different features, as well as the different payment options you can make. Finally, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on whether or not I think it's worth it to purchase premium. Is the cost worth what you're actually getting? So make sure you guys stick around to the end to hear my thoughts on that. As always, make sure you guys hit that like button I actually purchased LeetCode Premium solely for making this video. So I'd appreciate it if you guys you know, just take a moment and, and like the video. It definitely helps more people see the video and helps to grow the channel. All right, let's get into it. All right, so what is LeetCode? Well, LeetCode is a website that has several features, but what it's known for is practicing and solving data structures and algorithm coding problems. It's generally used in preparation for coding interviews. They have a pool of over 1500 problems with new problems continuously being added. And a lot of companies take their interview questions directly from here. I've personally had interviews where it was basically a copy paste from LeetCode. They do have problem sets on other subjects as well, such as databases, the shell, as well as concurrency. So in the problems tab here, we can see a list of all the questions here on the left. And if we wanna go into a specific problem, we see the name of the problem on the left here. We see the difficulty. Lead code has either easy, medium, or hard. And then we have a prompt of what the question is asking. And then down here, it gives you several examples of the input as well as the expected output. On the right here, we see that you can choose from several different languages. It has pretty much all the main major programming languages that you would want to use. And then here we have the text editor. So I went ahead and just copied one of the solutions. So if you wanna go and paste that in here, then you can hit submit. What it does is it runs it against several different test cases, uh, checks for different edge cases. And here we can see that uh, it was a success. Uh, it does show you the runtime as well as the memory usage and you know how well you did compared to all the different solutions that have also been submitted. Down here, you can also see uh, similar problems here and the color is based on the difficulty level. If you go back to the description, you can see things like, you know, the related topics, again, the similar questions, as well as some hints. So if we go back into the problem set, you see that uh, without premium, you still get uh, the acceptance rate percentage. You see the difficulty. So if we wanna scroll down here, you can see that you could actually filter by topic. Say you wanna work on your dynamic programming. Well, then you would just click on this and it just shows DP related problems. There are other features. So if we wanna go into the mock tab, we see that if we minimize this a little bit, we see that we can actually do like a mock interview, which is basically a few questions uh, with a timer to go along with it. There's also a discussions tab where people talk about you know, different uh, experiences that they've had with interviews. All right, so there we have a preview of lead code with the non-premium features. So now let's talk about what you guys probably clicked on the video for and what do you get when you purchase premium? So if we go into the explore tab here, we see that there are several cards here. And uh, I believe uh, a lot of these ones are available without premium, but stuff here like Google interview or Facebook interview, uh, you will need premium to access these. And basically what this does is it gives you a you know, quick in introduction. It talks about different topics. It doesn't really go into much detail with it. It just kind of like points you to questions that are related to it. I honestly hardly ever use this section here. Um, if we want to go to specific problems, we see here, uh, we see that this is unlocked now. So it actually gives you an in-depth solution of how to solve this and, and different ways to solve it. You can sort by company. So say you have a, an interview coming up with Amazon. Well, then you can filter it by questions uh, that are asked by Amazon. And you could actually even go here and sort it by the frequency asked. And you can you know do it over a certain time period. Uh, you unlock certain questions. So if you go to the, the problem set here, uh, you see that if you scroll down, uh, we see these problems here. So if you don't have premium, you actually are not able to click and view any of these problems. If we go back to the mock interview uh, tab here, we see that we can actually now do mock interviews based on questions that are most likely to be asked by certain companies. We have certain features that we unlock for the editor. So if we go back to a certain problem, 
If we go to this editor here and say we want to just print something out, we see here that uh, it is there is code completion similar to what you would get with an IDE. Uh, there's a debugger as well, so you could actually set a breakpoint here and you know debug your code if you need to. And the last thing is uh, unlimited playgrounds. So up here, you can actually click on here and you can create a playground. And what this does is, if we want to go to linked list, is it gives you boilerplate code for a linked list. Say you want to work with linked lists, you wouldn't actually have to write that from scratch. This gives you the code to do that, which is pretty convenient. All right, so how much is lead code premium? Well, if you want to do it monthly, it's $35 a month or yearly, it's $159. If you paid the monthly price for a year, it would come out to $420. So $261 more. So they definitely incentivize you to go with the yearly subscription. So finally, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion. Do I think it's worth it? And honestly, I have to say no. I, I don't think the price that you're paying is worth the features that you're getting. Say for the mock interviews, I feel like the random question set is sufficient enough uh, or filtering questions by companies. I remember I had an interview with Amazon and I had one with Google and I did specifically questions from those companies. And then when I actually did the interview, the questions were nothing like what LeetCode was showing. It was kind of like when you take a test and you get the test and you're like, when did we learn this stuff in class? So I didn't really find that part very useful. You do get to unlock some questions, but like 95% of the questions are already unlocked anyways. And you know, the stuff for the editor, like a lot of interviews, you're not allowed to use code complete, like an editor that does code completion anyways, or you know, you, you won't have a debugger and you could always use an IDE if you really wanted to do that. So at the end of the day, I, I don't really think it's worth it to pay that money. I feel like that money could be used elsewhere. Uh, maybe to take you know some other course. For me personally, I was searching for jobs for about eight months at the beginning of 2019. And I would say after probably like five months, I decided to try Lead Code Premium just to kind of switch things up. And I remember I paid for one month and then I was I didn't find a job yet and I paid for another month and then I paid for another month. And then finally I was like, I paid enough to get a yearly subscription. So I finally bought the yearly subscription and then I found a job right after and then I never used it. So that was kind of a waste. So yeah, I mean, it's really up to you guys. If you feel like the, the premium stuff is worth it, by all means, go ahead and purchase it. But only if you're actually gonna use it. I mean, you know, how long does the average job search take? I would say maybe like, a few months, like three months, three months of paying for lead code is like $100 versus if that helps you land like a six figure job, then obviously it's a good deal. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. Uh, for those of you who have tried lead code premium, let me know in the comments if you guys do think it's worth it. That'll be the, the question of the day for you guys. So yeah, that's all I wanted to go over in this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. Make sure you guys hit that like button and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And oh yeah, keep on coding. <laughs>